would like to introduce myself now. Um, I already told you who I was, so I'll go on beyond that. Uh, I would also like uh, to introduce the, the, our, my the wife who was just standing by, she's assisting me. And I'd like to welcome the, vet, the veterans and their families, including those who would have marched uh, or rode in our parade today. Thank you all. Who thank you all of you who are here today, attending this special service, honoring those who would be the made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. I'd also like to recognize the members of the Hubbardston Select Board who are here today. Jeff Williams, Chairman, Katie Young, Vice Chair, and Heather Moe, Clerk. I also now, too, would like to recognize our Grand Marshal, Robert Gunny Mager. He served in the Army in World War II with his six brothers. All of his brothers, all but his brother Earl, returned home. The Maker family is a gold star family. Bernie has been a lifetime resident of Hubbardson, growing up on Elm Street and currently lives at the Cathedral Farm and Old Princeton Road. in the farm and the old house we'd looked for in the last three moves. And I busied myself getting the house in order, unpacking boxes, and getting our three children in school, as I had done 16 other times. I used to have a t-shirt that said, Navy wife, the toughest job in the Navy. And it's those women and families that I am here to honor today. But not only families, but maybe families, but all services. Throughout American history, many veterans have shed their blood and died on home and foreign shore soil. In World War II, 416,800 died. In Korea, 33,651. In Vietnam, 58,220, and in Afghanistan, 2,455. All of those families grieved their loss, and all of those wives had to go on raising children and keeping a home by themselves. One of the most frightening times for me was when the official Navy vehicle with two uniformed officers in it would drive through our neighborhood. And I stood by the window, holding the baby in my arms. They hesitated. My heart went down in my throat. Then they drove off down the street. I would cry in relief and grieve for the family where they did stop. Tom was one of the lucky ones. And I am privileged to be standing here with him today. He served 28 years in the Navy on active duty, three of them in Vietnam. The only way of communication 
Then was writing letters, no computers, texts, or cell phones. He would number his letters so I could read them in order. He would always include paragraphs for the children. Mail would arrive in bunches, and my older boys, then 9 and 11, would run to the mailbox for them. I remember that the older one would say, what did he say? And the other one would say, are you going to cry again, Mama? Lately, when we are out shopping, or else where are these days, and Tom is wearing his Vietnam veteran's hat, some people will stop and thank him for her service, and then thank me for mine. And that is, I like that. So if you see a couple like that, try doing the same thing. You probably will get a smile and thank you. Thank you for being here today to honor our fallen, our veterans and their families and wives. Oh, and by the way, when it came time for Tom to retire from the Navy, we decided to stay here in Hubbardston, and I'm so glad we did. Thank you. Next on the uh, student, uh, we'd like to bring uh, one student or student's uh, speakers up. Uh, Amelia Mulker, I may have put that how I pronounce that. It's Amelia Okay, hello, Amelia. Uh, so you're right here, and you're going to be opening exciting um, plan for school. Thank you. In Flanders fields, the poppies grow between the crosses, row and row, that mark our place, while in the sky, the larks still brightly singing fly, unheard amid the guns blow. We are the dead, short days ago. We lived, felt dawns, saw sunsets glow. Loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with a foe. To you, from falling hands we throw, the torch be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith, the last to die. We shall not sleep. The poppy squirrel inside the seals. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next, we're going to have uh, Rhea Duncan, who is the third grader at uh, Hubbardson Center School, and she's going to recite the preamble to the <clears throat> to the Constitution. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings from liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Do ordain and establish this Constitution, the United States of America. Thank you. recognition of Bria Duncan. Your recitation and preamble of the Constitution was not only beautifully and deliberately, beautifully delivered, but also deeply meaningful. On this day, our members of the Constitution had a profound sense of reverence and patriotism and our, and our patriotism and our, to our, this is really bad. Their commitment to upholding the ideals of our nation's service and achieving shining example to all of us. Thank you once again for your important role in commemorating Memorial Day and for reminding us of the enduring significance of our Constitution. Your efforts are deeply appreciated and will be remembered.
that is signed from my late Nathan Boudreau, our town administrator. Thank you very much. Oh, you're coming up. Yeah, now I'm coming up. Okay. Anna Leah, thank you so much for honoring our fallen heroes by reciting in Flanders Field at the Memorial Day service. Your pungent delivery captured the essence of remembrance and paid tribute to those who made the ultimate sacrifice. Your contribution added depth and meaning to the occasion reminding us all of the importance of honoring and remembering our heroes. Your dedication to this solemn tradition is deeply appreciated. Thank you. Okay, the next thing on our thing is we're going to do a, our dedication ceremony uh, with the poppies of on reef. The representative of the United States Army kindly come forward to place your body. Navy, please come forward to place the poppy.
Roberts militia now perform their salute to honor their deceased veterans. Representative Donnie Berthion. He has represented the town of Hubbardston at the Massachusetts State House for the last nine years. This is his fourth term. term. Prior to holding office, he was a selectman in the town of Spencer. He was instrumental in keeping the Brookfield State Police Barracks open to help support our local towns. He also was able to secure money for local senior centers towards upgrades and proposed decking. Donnie, come up here, please. I'm here. Good. You're doing fabulous. Uh, quick story on the Anchors Away song. I don't know if any other Navy veterans have this, but when I was in boot camp at Great Lakes, when you marched under that bridge, you had to sing that song. Did you have to do that on your day? Say Every time we went under the bridge, you had to sing a song, and I'm not a great singer, so that's why I'm doing this. Um, so thank you for being here today. Thanks for the turnout. So I will tell you over the last nine years, um, and all the ceremonies they get to go to, th this is a great turnout because because support for veterans, and, and especially Memorial Day is waning. You guys are fabulous. This is incredible. Thank you so much. Um, and thank you um, for realizing that today is about, we wouldn't be here. The world would be a much different place if without those people that made the ultimate sacrifice. So thank you for being here today. Um, I have the honor of presenting a couple citations today. Um, would Anna Lee come back up, please? So Anna Lee, I get to hear the National Anthem a lot. And that was one of the best renditions I've heard in a long time. So it's my honor today to present you from the House of Representatives a citation uh, marking your rendition of the National Anthem today. So congratulations. <laughs> and then most of all, Captain, would you come back up here, please? It's not on the list. Well, this is a sneaky thing we're going to do. So. This is kind of sneaky. So, so when I first met Captain Collier, so I was enlisted, and one of the first times I met him, he was in uniform, and he called me sir, which any enlisted guy here will know. When I was an E5 when I got out, and you had an O6 call you sir, it's, it's pretty unnerving. So I think we got over that over the years, and, and we went to Tom and Donnie after a while, which was good. But um, So for the many years, and the many things we've done for the town of Hubbardston, not just doing this for 25 years as master of ceremonies, um, and, and it's evident by how many people come out, what a great job you do, but for being selectman and the town boards and all the stuff you've done for town, uh, the town of Hubbardston, um, it is my honor. Um, and I have two citations that I want from the house from me, and I have one from Senator Grant who could not be here. He has actually more parades than me today. So, so it is my honor to present you, Captain Collier, with a citation for your 25 years of dedication and service as Master of Ceremonies to the town of Hubbardston Memorial. Thank you, everybody. Well, the next thing up uh, after that is uh, Nathan, uh, our next town, the, the town uh, administrator. Uh, he's an experienced municipal professional from Gardner, Mass, and has the first education background, including a master's in public administration from Clark University and he has worked in small and medium-sized municipalities as well as a state legislator. He lives in Gardner with his wife and two dogs and is dedicated to improving Hubbardston through transparency, increased communication, and modern governance te techniques. Nate, you're on. What an 
honor it is to even get to speak on the same microphone as Captain Tom Collier. What, what an honor. Let's give him one more round of applause. Good morning. On behalf of the Hubbardton Select Board and myself, I want to extend a warm welcome and a heartfelt thank you to you all for joining us on this solemn and meaningful Memorial Day. We are gathered here today to honor and remember the brave men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice to our nation. I would like to express our deepest gratitude to Susan Brege, the Memorial Day Committee, and Veteran Service Officer Lauren Wright for their tireless effort in organizing today's parade and events. Let's give them a round of applause as well. Your dedication and hard work throughout the entire year oh, lost myself. really makes today a special day and it stands out because of the amount of people that show up and the bands present and just everyone having a grand old time. And even the weather was able to hold up this year. So I'm proud to be here and I thank you for your, for your dedication to this. As we stand here in the heart of your picturesque New England town, let us take a moment to reflect on the stories of valor and sacrifice that have become an integral part of Hubbardson's history. Private Anne Rassinen, an only child twice wounded before making the ultimate sacrifice in France. Private Robert Schaefer, who endured the loss of his mother and infant sister before his tra tragic death on Iwo Jima. Machinist mate first class Granville Marion, a survivor of Pearl Harbor, who later gave his life in the Pacific. Corporal Leif Olsen, among the first to land in France on D-Day, killed on the Normandy beachhead. Tech 5 Bernard Clark, preparing a Christmas feast for his fellow soldiers when friendly fire claimed his life in Belgium. Private Earl Meager, one of six brothers serving, killed in action over Germany. These are just a few of the many stories of heroism and sacrifice that have emerged from your small town. Each name etched on our war memorials represents a life cut short, a family forever changed, and a debt we cannot repay. As we enjoy the peace and freedom their sacrifices have afforded us, let us never forget the cost at which they were purchased. Let us honor their memory by cherishing the values they fought to defend. Liberty justice, and the pursuit of happiness for all. Today, we also recognize the sacrifices made by the families of our fallen heroes, the parents, siblings, spouses, and children who have endured unimaginable pain losing a loved one in service to this country, to the Gold Star families present here today. Please know that you are not alone. We stand with you and will always remember the heroes you hold dear. On this Memorial Day, let us renew our commitment to supporting our veterans and those who continue to serve. They have borne the burden of defending our nation, and it is our duty to ensure that they receive the care, respect, and opportunities they deserve. In closing, I ask that we all take a moment to reflect on the profound significance of this day. Let us carry the memory of our fallen heroes in our heart, not just today, but every day. Let us strive to live lives in a manner worthy of their sacrifice, and let us work together to build a future that honors their legacy. Thank you for being here today. May God bless our fallen heroes, our veterans, our community, and the United States of America. Thank you. Well, the last speaker now is going to be Lauren Wright, Hubbardson's veteran service officer. Lauren lives in the city of Worcester with her husband of four years, Nathan. Um, and Lauren, would you please come to the podium? And thank you for all the years you've poured your heart into this event and to the town of Hubbardson. You have left some big shoes to fill. 
It's an honor to be here with you today and an honor to serve this wonderful town as a veteran service officer. Thank you so much for including me as part of this special ceremony. As we gather here in the heart of Hubbardston, we come together to enjoy the warmth of community and honor and remember those who have made the ultimate sacrifice for our nation. On this Memorial Day, we pay tribute to the brave men and women who have selflessly served our country, defending the freedoms that we hold dear. In our small town, patriotism runs deep. We may not be a bustling city, but what we lack in size, we, make, we more than make up for in heart. In our close-knit community, every loss is felt deeply and every sacrifice is honored. As we stand in front of the war memorials with names we know, surrounded by the familiar faces of our neighbors and friends, let's take a moment to reflect on the meaning of Memorial Day. It is a day of remembrance, a day to honor the memory of those who gave their lives in service to our nation. Their courage, sacrifice, and unwavering commitment to duty will never be forgotten. In small towns across America, Memorial Day holds a special significance. It is a day where we come together as a community to honor our heroes, to share stories of bravery and sacrifice, and to renew our commitment to upholding the values for which they fought. Let us not forget that the true measure of our gratitude lies not only in our words, but in our actions. As we honor the memory of those who have fallen, let us recommit ourselves to supporting those who have served and continue to serve this country. Today we're reminded that the lives we honor were given to protect our way of life. The sense of community we know and love here in Hubbardston, the relationships we share between our neighbors, friends, and family, the barbecues and picnics we'll all enjoy later on, weather permitting, and the privilege to gather here together to remember comes with a price. We honor them by living our lives in a way that upholds the values they fought for, freedom, democracy, and justice. We honor them by reaching out to their families, by supporting them in their lifelong grief, and by acknowledging the immense sacrifice and immeasurable loss. We honor them by continuing to support our military men and women, by recognizing their sacrifice, and by ensuring they have the resources they need to succeed. We cannot rest on the sacrifices of past generations. Peace, freedom, and global security require constant vigilance. Pacing threats around the globe uphold the truth of President Ronald Reagan's sentiment that freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. Finally, we honor them by working toward a better America, one that is more just, more equal, more unified, and more peaceful. An America that is worthy of their sacrifice. Their bravery and selflessness serve as a beacon of light, guiding us to a better future. We remember that every soldier, sailor, and airman in this era raised their hand to take an oath. And they did so, understanding that they may not come home. We sleep soundly at night while they stand watch, ready to shield us from evil. May God bless all of our veterans and the men and women protecting us today. God bless the families of the fallen. May he comfort those living with pain and loss. And may he never cease to shed his grace on all who fought and died. God bless each of you here today. And God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Now I'd like to invite all of the veterans and that we have here today to be recognized on your feet. To, to this great country. While we're standing, we invite the Green, the Green family to sing the America the Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. 
Thank you. The Memorial Day Parade Committee thanks to you for participating in this service. The committee asks the youth in town to, 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 to do their bikes and please stop for any of their work that have been out here today. After that, please join us across the street for a free ice cream social at the Senior Center. Veterans, you're dismissed. Thank you. 
Oh, 